Doppler Fall Classic. We are doing weight class previews. We got 171. Um, you can watch the, the previous videos. We have every weight class broken into one video, trying to condense it so it's a little bit easier of a watch. But uh, I'm Tony Greathouse, JJ Johnson. We're kind of running through um, the top guys at each weight and giving a little bit of analysis and kind of get excited about this weekend because we have um, – a huge tournament coming to Kalamazoo. Um, we got people. We, I think. I think last my last count, we have twenty eight states coming this weekend. Um, it's it's a really good, really good turnout, um, and we're gonna put on a good show. It's a great venue. It's the first time we've ever had it in Wings Arena in Kalamazoo, um, and it's, we're back in Michigan after a two year hiatus. Uh, we were in South Carolina, so we're really excited to be back. And um, yeah. We're going to have a good tournament. So 171, good weight class. We got two Illinois guys at the top. The pre-seeds are, are on michigangrappler.com. If you go, um, you can read through them and see all the pre-seeds. They're going to change, so don't get too uh, attached to them. People change weights and whatnot. So this is not exactly how it's going to end up on the bracket, but it gives us something to talk about. So the one seed is uh, he's ranked 20th in the country, nationally ranked Abe. I don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> um, I need you to take a shot, though. It's just <laughs> my entertainment. I'm just going to call him Abe W. Um, okay. I need to find out because I'm going to be over the PA saying his name probably 15 times <laughs> this weekend. So I need to probably find out. But I'm going to say it's... <laughs> I got it. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Wojewix. Abe Wojewix. It's not even close. You don't think? What do you think? I don't think so. I would go like Wasikowitz or something. Abe Wojikowitz. Wojikowitz. That's better than your first attempt, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. From Illinois. Yeah. Anyways, he looks tough. Um, he's uh, he's ranked uh, 20th in the country. He's top 150 for his class. Senior. He's the one seed, two seed also from Illinois, Colin Kelly. He's a junior. And he's ranked uh, as one of the, in the in the junior class rankings. He's a returning state champ from Illinois. You got Christian Motor from Florida state champ, Braden Gotro from Michigan state champ from Gaylord, Carlos Garcia from California. He's eighth in the state, but California won division, um, so that's pretty impressive. Six seed is Connor McCloskey, McCloskey from Georgia, state runner up. And then you got Frank Solez, Sol, Solarzano, Solarzano. He's been here before. He has. Um, yeah. Third in the state in Florida. Jake Stacy from Tennessee, third in the state. Silas Daly from Wisconsin, third in the state. And then you got another Penton from Florida, third in the state. You got Missouri State Placer. And then you got a couple more Michigan guys, Indiana State Qualifier. Um, and then you got some state qualifiers and placers who are unseated getting drawn in. So this is a deep weight, a lot of talent. And again, you know, kind of consistent with every other weight class, but a lot of um diversity in terms of geography people coming from all over the country um but to me it looks like kind of all eyes are on the two illinois guys um they're the only two in the weight that are that have national rankings you know weight class and grade level um so i think everybody's kind of chasing them and we're geared for an all illinois final what do you think i think the three and four two are definitely in the mix um they both placed to fargo and greco i think they were fourth and fifth there but didn't wrestle each other um okay. same weight though so, same weight same yeah. weight class um so I, I think it's probably maybe those four and, and then you know you look down past that um garcia and mccloskey so um go gotro you know for michigan guys that's a guy i really like i think he's a super tough kid um and you know someone he's unsigned still so um for him again could be a, a huge tournament to he had break up. stash well, I'm sure he will. I love it. Yeah. I'm jealous. I still can't grow one. I'm 37 years old, still can't grow one. That's true. Um, I, I'm interested to see, um, this is a guess again, on the pronunciation of Sikowitz and Kelly. Um, I don't know if they've met before or not, being from Illinois, but yeah. um, I'd be interested to see if there's any history there too. Yeah, Kelly's from Mount Carmel. Uh, he was a 3A state champ. So he was teammates with, he is teammates with Mendoza and I'm just going to call him Abe is <laughs> from uh, Civic Memorial High School. 2A, right? 
two way state champ. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if they have wrestled each other. But uh, yeah, either way, you got a you got a good weight class on your hands, I think. <clears throat> and I think um, yeah. it'll be really competitive. Like like some of those early round matchups will be very competitive. And then as we get to the quarters and the semis, I think you're right. I think the semis will definitely be be good. Um, you know, like to see how Gotro Gotro has a great opportunity for a Michigan guy. Again, this goes back. I've talked about this in other videos, but why, um, you know, I started the tournament 13 years ago. I mean, it was for situations like this. You had a guy like Gotro from Michigan who, um, you know, wants to get national recognition and national competition. He doesn't necessarily have to travel all over the country. We can bring people here to Michigan for guys like him, you know, so that we don't have to travel all over the country to, to get good national competition for Michigan kids. So um, him, you got Rakoyak, who's a 12 seed uh, state placer from Heartland and uh, Cam Adams from CC the 13. And then you got Andrina and Myers at the 15 and 16. So good Michigan kids um, getting really good national competition. So are you picking this one? Nope. No pick on this one. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Braden Gotro, Michigan, Gaylord. I don't hate the pick. First Gaylord champ. Yeah. Because LaJoy is, I don't think the LaJoy has ever wrestled GFC. High school. They did middle school because I ref Dom's finals match. Yeah, you made a terrible call. I remember. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, no, but they they never wrestled the high school. I don't think so. Um, yeah, I think he'd be the first Gaylord guy to win it, and I think I th- uh, he's my pick. That's who I'm gonna pick. Breakout, breakout, and then oh, he plays the Fargo. So I don't know if it's necessarily a breakout, but I think GFC's. I mean Fargo. I, I think GFC. I think this, I think this is up there. I think here's. Well, let's just say this: he's gonna get a col- He'll he'll commit to a college sooner after gfc than after fargo yeah by the that's the way the calendar works nope that's that's (laughs) every tournament that's why so um so yeah my prediction is he's going to win it and then he's going to be on a d1 d1 roster within 30 days after he wins it all right mark my words you can watch it go down this weekend uh saturday starts at 9 a.m live on flow We'll, we'll wrestle through the quarters on Saturday. We'll wrestle the semis Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And then the finals will be about 1 o'clock on Sunday. So follow along, watch the action. This way, along with others, it's going to be fun to watch. See you then.